Hi everybody, welcome you by Pantech e-learning platform, a digital learning simplified with a happy e-learning. Now let's see about the Powertronics project, about single phase asymmetric cascader hatch bridge 15 level inverter with reduced 12 switches using Arduino. Here now let's see the basic block diagram. Here we have used Arduino controller to generate the pulse from the controller and uh, by using the PC we can able to program it. The pulse generated from the controller unit is fed to the TLP2T driver board. This TLP2T driver board is going to isolate and amplify the pulse generated from the controller unit and it is fed to the power devices used in the hatch bridge 15 level inverter. This TLP2 t driver board is powered up by a 12 volt step down transformer and for the main power circuit input DC voltage is derived from a step down transformer and that AC input voltage is rectified and filtered and it is fed to the inverter circuit for the cascader hatch bridge 15 level inverter. Based upon the pulse generated from the TLP2 t driver board the output waveform will be generated. Here we are going to generate the 15 level inverter output. So that is given to the R load, resistive load and that waveform can be measured by using a DSO. Next we are going to see about the Arduino UNO. Here the Arduino UNO is going to act as a controller that is it is going to generate the pulse which is required to drive the inverter and form the 15 level inverter's waveform output. Here in Arduino UNO there are 6 analog inputs and 14 digital pins and PWM pins and with this USB port we can able to power up by using the PC and if needed after programming from the PC we can able to use a DC power adapter and we can able to connect the power adapter in this DC power jack and there is a reset button. Next we are going to see about the TLP250 driver unit. This driver unit is going to isolate and amplify the pulse generated from the controller. After this driver unit it is going to be fed to the power devices which is going to be act as a inverter circuit in our project. In basic the power devices will be switched on at a minimum voltage of 9 to 15 voltage. So the pulse generated from the controller unit will be around 5 voltage. So those pulses will be isolated and amplified with the same frequency and it will be fed to the power devices. So the controller will maybe generating 3.3 volt or 5 volt. So it will be converted and amplified and isolated for around 15 to 12 voltage at the same frequency and duty ratio. This driver unit is also having a gate protection unit. Let's see the circuit diagram for the TLP250 driver board. Here I have shown a single leg that is a single pulse circuit diagram uh, is shown over here. Here the driver IC is going to be a TLP250 driver IC and there is a Darlington pair by using the transistor. So this is going to be act as an amplifier and the 18 volt zener is going to be acting as a gate protection. Reverse voltage will be protected. In this the pulse will be given that is from the controller the pulse will be given to this input and the pulse output can be derived from this across the zener. Next let's see the driver unit TLP250 driver board. Here it is shown the driver board and the comparison of pulses. This is the image of the TLP250 driver board and this is the pulse comparison of input and output pulses generated from the TLP250 driver board. Here this is the input pulse applied over here and here we can able to get the output pulse. Here this shown image is a four leg driver board that is the four pulses can be given as input and four pulses the same power four pulses can be isolated and amplified and we can able to get the driver output in this output section here the waveform comparison is shown this is a controller pulse and this is a driver pulse driver output pulse next Let's see about the cascader hatch bridge inverter what we have used in this project. Here the hatch bridge 15 level inverter we have used with 12 reduced switches. Here there is 3 single phase inverter circuits. So these 3 single phase inverter circuits are cascaded and form the cascader hatch bridge 15 level inverter circuit. Here this is asymmetric cascader hatch bridge inverter. So the voltage given to this individual inverter will be varied that is V, 2V and 4V. That is here we have used 6 volt. 12 volt and 24 volt. Here the load used is a resistive load. You can able to check the waveform across this resistive load. Output waveform will be around 15 level. 
Next, let's see the switching states of the device. That is, each and every device has to be switched on at particular interval time. So here the tabulation indicates here we have used 12 switches M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, M8, M9, M10, M11. And the output voltages level are defined over here. 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. Same way for minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and minus 7. So these are the voltage levels if you need to get the plus one volt then we have to switch on this corresponding switches if we need to get minus one voltage or minus two voltage we need to switch on the corresponding switches and we can able to get the output at the minus two level so since this is a 15 level so the positive cycle will be seven level and the negative cycle will be seven level and the zero level will be one so total seven plus seven 14 and the zero is the 15th level here the corresponding circuit i have shown over here the pulse generated are in this manner m1 m2 in this manner and next let's see the switching states of the device with a detailed example here the switching states timing depends upon the output frequency what we are going to define here i'll show one example for a 50 hertz that is for 50 hertz the full cycle is 20 millisecond here we are going to derive for the 15 level so the output voltage will be derived in this manner so output for the respective time here you can able to consider this time in microsecond or millisecond for example time 1 time 2 time 3 time 4 time 5 time 6 likewise up to 28 cycles uh, 28 time divisions we have to separate that is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 3 2 1 0 then again in negative cycle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then it will be reduced to uh, 6 5 4 3 2 1 then 0 then this cycle continues again so this full cycle will be continuously rotating in a manner and then we will be getting a single phase inverter output of 15 level here is some more calculation here we have considered for a 20 millisecond so 20 millisecond is 20,000 microseconds for the each level we have to calculate it so 20,000 microseconds divided by 28 time division because the full cycle is going to be completed by 28 times so we have divided by 28 so we will be getting 714.28 we can approximate it to 715 microseconds so for one time division it is going to be switched on cycle is going to be on for a 715 microseconds so each time division is going to be applied with 715 microseconds so after 28 times the full cycle is going to be completed so the 20 milliseconds is going to be covered there is a small animation how it is going to be generated with time this time delay you can able to consider as 28 time divisions so 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 a 6 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 then negative cycle 1 minus 1 minus 2 3 4 5 6 7 again 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so this completes a 28 time division up to minus 1 so the this 0 will be continued on the next cycle so this full cycle is going to be a single phase inverter output of 15 level this is how the 15 level inverter output we are going to get it from the hardware unit Next, let's see how the Arduino Uno pulses are generated from which pins. So, from corresponding to the Arduino Uno pins, pin number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So, these pins correspond to the MOSFETs what we have used in the inverter circuit M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6 up to M12. So, these pulses are correspondingly applied to the corresponding MOSFETs. If suppose we are going, if we suppose we have changed the uh, pulsing pattern, then the output will not be arrived. So, based upon the pattern only, we have to derive and we have to give it to the MOSFET, corresponding MOSFETs. We can able to get the thin level inverter out. Next, let's see the hardware of TLP250 driver image. This is the TLP250 driver image. Here, we have used 12 MOSFETs. So, we have used 3 4-leg TLP250 driver boards. Each 4-leg is going to be apply pulse to the single inverter circuit and here we have used two transformers to power up the TLP250 driver board. Each transformer is 12 volt 5 tapping transformer that is each tapping consists of 12 volt AC so that is going to be rectified and filtered and uh, the pure DC will be applied to the driver circuit.
circuit and we are going to get the isolated and amplified pulses at the output of the driver unit pulse from the controller unit is given to the driver input next let's see the cascaded hatch bridge inverter hardware image that is the inverter image here we have used three step down transformers one is 12 volt another one is 6 volt another one is 18 volt step down ac transformer so from this ac voltage is going to be fed to the individual inverters this ac is going to be rectified and filtered by using a rectifier and a capacitor and it is fed to the inverter circuit and here is the resistive load 5 watt resistive load and the output can be measured from the resistive load next the full hardware image this is the full hardware image the TLP 250 driver board, transformers, Arduino unit, and the inverter circuit, power circuit. Next, let's see hardware working video. Now, let's see the full hardware working video for single phase asymmetric cascader hatch bridge 15 level inverter using Arduino. This is a whole hardware unit. This is the Arduino controller. We are going to generate pulse from this controller. These are the TLP 250 driver boards. Here, we have used three 4 lakh driver boards. This is the main power circuit for the cascaded 15 level inverter circuit and the external DC source is supplied from your single phase AC and this is the load section. The 4 leg driver board indicates the single leg driver is used to isolate and amplify the pulse from the controller and it is fed to the power MOSFETs. This driver board is for the first inverter circuit and this is for the second inverter and this is for the third inverter. We have connected the pulse from the controller to this point. These LEDs indicate the pulse from the controller. Here we have used two step down transformers to power up the TLP250 driver board. These two are 5 tapping transformers. This is the main AC power source from 230V. Here we have used three step down transformers to power the main circuit V in, 2 V in, 4 V in. Since this is the asymmetric inverter, we have used different voltages for the three inverters. This is a 6 volt transformer, 12 volt transformer and the 18 volt step down transformer. This input AC is rectified and filtered and the DC is fed to the inverter circuit. This is the load section. You can able to check the output pulses across this load resistor. Here we have used the resistive load. Now I am going to connect the pulse to view in a DSO. We are going to check the waveforms. I am just going to show one pulse alone. For example, here this is the pulse from the controller pin. And this point is the pulse from the driver output. Now let's see the output uh, pulse waveforms. This is the controller pulse of approximately 5 volt. That is the pulse generator from the controller is 5 voltage. Just I am switching on the driver board. Here this is the pulse from the driver unit. Here the output voltage will be isolated and amplified to up to 15 volt. And it is fed to the MOSFET to switch on and off. Now just I am going to connect the probe across the load resistor to check the output waveform of 15 level. Just I am switching on the main power circuit. So I am going to power up these three transformers. Here this is the output waveform of uh, inverter. Here we can able to see the 15 level output for the positive cycle. First level, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, sixth level and seventh level. The same way for the negative cycle, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 1 and 0 for the negative cycle. So the pulse from the controller is fed to the driver unit and it is fed to the power MOSFETs for the inverter circuit and finally we are going to see the waveform across the load. Next let's see about the 15 level inverter output waveform. Here this is the 15 level inverter output waveform. This image is taken from the DSO. Here you can able to see the 15 level output. Next, the specification. The specification used in this project Arduino Uno controller, TLP250 driver board, 12 volt tapping step down transformer for the driver board power supply, 6 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt step down transformer for the inverter power circuit, and the load is used as a 5 watt resistive load. The customization of this project is also possible based upon the need of the customer. Next is the DIY package. 
in this diy package do it yourself package you can able to get the bundle of contents as arduino uno controller one number and the project coding for the arduino controller tlp250 driver board the required number and 12 volt tapping step down transformer with required numbers 6 volt 12 volt 18 volt step down transformer each one number two pin power cards and the rmc connectors and wires with required numbers general purpose board uh, ir of 840 mosfet bridge and capacitor with required numbers 5 watt resistive load one number and the total guidance to develop this project is going to be a two hour guidance from the pantech e-learning team Testing equipments are not included in this bundle of content. Testing equipments, you have to make it ready with a multimeter or DSO soldering iron. What are the testing equipments and other equipments needed? You can able to get it ready. Thank you by Pantac eLearning. You can also visit www.pantechelearning.com or you can able to query using a mail id training at pantechmail.com or project at pantechmail.com. You can able to contact our WhatsApp using this contact number 8925533488 or 89 for more information and updated projects subscribe and get the information updated by pantech e-learning with the new technologies new projects new prototypes thank you all once again